first two races are over at Aintree, curtain raisers before that supreme event in the steeplechasing calendar, the Grand National. What a challenge to millions of punters of both sexes and of the bookmaking fraternity lying in wait for them on the course and off. Already there's an atmosphere at Aintree, electric beyond anything in the last few years. Why? Who can tell? Dagmar Gittell stands high in the betting order among the 47 runners. So does Team Spirit. Gregory Peck at the National? Yes, as the owner of Owen Sedge, fancied by many at 20 to 1. G.W. Robinson is up on Team Spirit, and here's Avenue Noy. The stiffest test of the jumping season is ahead of these horses and riders. Famous riders too, many of them. Pat Taff is up on Owen Sedge, and here's O'Malley Point and Nicola Silva. And now there are only seconds to wait before the magical moment of the off. Nervous seconds for horses, jockeys, and the thousands of racegoers thronging the course. All 47 of them have come under starter's orders. A huge field, but they're off. A grand start and a great pace. Four and a half miles to go, 30 of the most testing jumps in the world. As predicted, out and about sets the pace from the start. Lengths ahead over the first jump. Hathay's travelling camera takes us along with the horses almost as if we were in the race ourselves. Magic tricks has fallen, all the rest race on, following out and about over the second jump. Josh Gifford keeps his horse in front as he sails over the fourth fence. More or less up with out and about our French lawyer, Chabara, Connie II, John Joe, Ayala, and 40 secrets. And it's no secret to anybody that there's only one more jump to negotiate before they see beaches looming before them. Approaching beaches, out and about is first over, and clear of what might have been a disaster when Good Gracious fell and collided with two other runners. Out and about is setting a cracking pace, and jockey Josh Gifford has his work cut out holding him. Jump number seven almost proves fatal for the leader, but he recovers well. It's still out and about leading the field as they come up to the canal turn for the first time and take the treacherous sharp left-hand bend. French lawyer Dandy Tim and Chavara are going well as they start their run towards Valentine's Brook. Travelling with the leaders, Pathé's mobile camera tracks out and about Avenue Noy, Dandy Tim and Chavara as they take Valentine's and stride out for jump number 10, a five-foot fence. Leaders are safely over, but this fence claimed Connie II and Avenue Noy. But there's still plenty of runners left from the large field of starters, with ten jumps completed. Out and about continues to make the running as they near the eleventh jump. He's safely over, the rest of the field following without casualty. Josh Gifford keeps out and about in front as they come up to the water jump, followed closely by riderless horse. Second is Loyal Tan, followed by French lawyer, Chavara, Carreru, and Ayala. And that's the order as they start the second circuit of this tough Aintree course. And still it's out and about in the lead, but the pace is beginning to tell as the field nears jump 17. The strain's beginning to show on out and about. The field are close with him as he jumps fence 18, followed by Loyal Tan, Ayala, Gay Navarri and French Lawyer. Twelve fences to go, and Loyal Tan is challenging out and about, with Ayala, French Lawyer, and Gay Navarri close behind. This must be one of the most exciting nationals on record. 
It's out and about from Loyal Tan and Ayala at the 21st. The order still out and about Loyal Tan, Ayala, and French Lawyer at Beaches. The field still led by out and about, but Ayala, Loyal Tan, and French Lawyer are well up with him as they jump fence 23. And it's out and about from French Lawyer at the canal turn with the rest of the field close behind. It's evident that at last out and about is tiring, but he's still game. As they jump Valentine's for the second time, French Lawyer's in front, and what a race it's become between the ones that count. Jump 26, a five-foot fence, and no chains to speak of amongst the leaders. For a tiring horse, the next obstacle is heartbreaking. A six-foot ditch and a five-foot fence. French lawyer's well over, but out and about he's down at last. A most gallant effort has come to an end. How a song is up with French lawyer now. So is the favorite Springbok and one of the outsiders, Ayala. Now the last of Aintree's 30 jumps. What a tragedy if one of the leaders fell here. But fortunately, that doesn't happen. Amateur jockey John Lawrence has Carrybag in front on the run-in of 484 yards. It looks a certainty for him. And then comes the challenge by Ayala. 19-year-old Pat Buckley urges the outsider to a terrific effort. He's in front. Ayala's won the national. Except the few in the know, who gave a thought to Ayala when the race began? Pat Buckley fell at the first jump last year. That's steeplechasing for you. As for Ayala, he's owned jointly by trainer Keith Piggott, Lester's father, and Pierre Raymond, king of quaffer Teasy Weezy. That's my place to garland of honor. Cheers for a grand horse and for Pat Buckley, one of the youngest ever riders to win the Grand National. Indeed, a race to remember.